In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make five spring options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added the spring along with the hand icon here. And then I have added some oval shape with the icons inside and then the detailed text on the top. So I have given five options with different colors. And when I click, I did a small animation to it. You can see here, it will start teetering. You can see I've just added the teeter animation to it. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a small rectangle in the center, maybe this much size, then shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. Let me just give some light color here and make sure that it is aligned center. Then I'm going to add small rectangles so where i want to do to add the spring there so let me just put it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark color press ctrl d to duplicate it i'm going to just place it one more here you can see here ctrl d just keep on pressing ctrl d till you reach up here to this particular point now let me just uh, zoom in a little bit so exactly you know what I'm trying to do. Go to insert shapes. From the lines, I'm going to select the curve. Start from the bottom, you can see here, click at the bottom, again click in the center and you can either you can click it here, you can see here, let me just click it here and then I'm going to click on the second line. So likewise zigzag lines, I'm just going to click it one by one you can see here just do one by one so almost we are going to complete now you can see here if it is going here and there up and down also doesn't matter and then I'm just going to add and at the center double click so you can see here i end up getting a shape something like this let me just uh, zoom out now you can see here and then let me just select all this and delete this now this is the one which i have i can just reduce the size you can see here i can squeeze it i can just expand it it's up to me so let me just uh, remove the guides here and then right mouse click go to format shape and you can go to the effects and you can give some bevel also something round like this and here you can give some width of one point something a bigger size bigger width you can do it and if you want you can give some different lightning and different sort of effects here and i'm going to give a different color for that i can go and select maybe say i want to put it green for example so it comes something like this now i want to put a small kind of a palm image or a, a, a hand image then go to insert icons and you can see here you have got a lot of icons and this is available only in the latest version of powerpoint and if you want to use the icons i have provided the icons uh, in my previous tutorials you can just go and download it from there so now let me just see where i can find the hand so you can see here it is here i'm just going to select it click insert and then i can convert this to shape just select this and say yes and then i can just use the alt and i can rotate it let me just zoom in i can give the same color which i have used here green and i can add some more shape also here i can add this rounded corner rectangle you can see here something like this this also i'm going to give the same color no outline and press ctrl g to group it and this one i'm just going to place exactly at the top sorry exactly here at the top of the spring you can see here and then bottom i can just add one more oval shape as the base you can see here then i'm going to cut into half you can see i'm just going to cut into half 
so select this one hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape and subtract you can see here reduce the size give the same color shape outline make it no outline and put it at the center so you can see here one size is ready press ctrl g to group it and you can put it here one now i'm going to select this and duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate it i can just add one option here again right mouse click i can ungroup this and i can just squeeze it you can see here and bring this down and then i can just press ctrl d for this and i'll move this one here so this is my first second third option again if you want you can just add few more for example just bring it here again squeeze further you can see bring this down and then press ctrl d and move to the other side so like this you can just uh, add different uh, options and then i can just simply go and give some different colors of my choice i can give go and give for example here i will give the same color here also i can give the same color so whichever color of your choice you can just select each color and just do the change for example i want to give maybe uh, orange here the line also orange and this also orange so you can just add the colors of your choice now i'm adding the oval shape go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key again how much size you need okay you can just keep it here shape outline make it no outline and you can give the shadow effect which i can go to inner and bottom right you can see here and the color also i'm going to give the same color press ctrl d just add the oval shape for all these options you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned and then just change the color according to the color you have chosen for the spring you can see here and then if you have the icons you can just go and insert the icons or you can just go and type it for example i'll just say zero one make it bold increase the size i'm going to make it white font bring it here you can add it like this also if you don't have the fonts press ctrl d to duplicate and then change this one so this will be five this will be four three two and one and then go to insert text i'm just going to add detail text here you can give maybe a gray color center align reduce the font size press ctrl d to duplicate it and then just add on top of each option so you can see here almost the design is ready so the last option is to do the a little bit of animation so before adding the animation let me just group this for example only sorry i'm just going to group only the spring and the the hand icon press ctrl g you can see here just select like this or you can just select like this also hold the shift key select the icon hold the shift key select the spring and press ctrl g to group it now once this is done you can go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this add animation i can go to the more emphasis effects and this teeter i can use you can see here maybe i have i have to just ungroup this once again and just group only this part only all right so now let me just add the animation one more time because the moment you group it or ungroup it the animation will go so go to more emphasis effects teeter and double click you can go and make the timing maybe slow and repeat until end of the slide click ok so it looks something like this okay if it is very slow you can make it medium also something like that so now it's easy for me select the animated just object 
double click the animation painter and I'm just going to just put it here you can see here each option and then I'm going to select all this you can make it with previous also so if I play it looks something like this or if you want to give some delay here for example this has to delay this should not be delayed this one should delay further this one should delay more so in that case one will happen you can see here all are happening at different intervals so this is the way you can do this particular design That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.